Hello, my name is Brooke Gibbons. I'm with Casey Water Communications, and I'm here today with Amy Getz, a civil engineer with Black & Veatch. She is assisting Casey Water in the Envision submission process for the construction of the Blue River Biosolids plant. Amy, thanks for being here today. We're gonna to start at the beginning. A lot of people have not heard of Envision. What is Envision? Sure, it's a good question. So Envision was established um, to provide a framework and a rating system for infrastructure projects to help support sustainability and resiliency goals. It helps um, project teams tackle concerns such as like, climate change or public health needs and environmental justice. Why is it important for a project to become Envision verified? So Envision verification provides um, a prestige and a recognition for the project's accomplishments. It also provides proof that the project is aligned with the community and city goals, and it gives uh, credibility to the project. How does a project attain verification? Sure. So um, Envision is, um, it's actually optional, and it's obtained by a third-party assessment. So verification has award levels that are based on a percentage of total applicable points. So <clears throat> there are four levels, excuse me, um, there's verified, which is 20% of the total applicable points were achieved. The next level is silver, which is 30% of the total applicable points have been achieved. Gold is 40% and platinum is 50. And our project is um, going for silver. So tell me more about this criteria selection. I understand there are several categories. There are, so there are five categories and there are actually 64 credits or 64 criteria that are arranged into credits. So the criteria or the categories are quality of life, leadership, resource allocation, natural world and climate and resilience. And then each of those categories has a subcategory or criteria which helps um, establish a framework to meet the category requirements. What is it about the Blue River Biosolids project that applies to Envision? Sure, so actually the entire project has been designed to meet as many of the Envision criteria as possible. And the project includes large efforts towards recycle, reuse, and also reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Can you share some examples of other projects either in Kansas City or other parts of the country that have earned this certification? I can. KCMO has been proactive with uh, sustainability efforts and Envision projects. So a few KCMO Envision projects, um, I'm sure you're familiar with Light Rail. That was a platinum award level. Um, there is another one, Middle Blue River Green Infrastructure Project. That project was also awarded um, Envision platinum level. Uh, that project was designed to reduce combined sewer overflows and improve water quality. Um, an additional project example would be the Vivian Transmission Main. It received a verified Envision level and that project provided a necessary pipeline um, which supplied adequate water to an expanded pump station. What kind of information are you collecting for the biosolids application submission? So I'm actually working on collecting any and all supporting documentation that helps meet the five main categories I mentioned. It can range anywhere from meeting minutes to construction hauling logs, demolition logs, um, the city's climate action plan, just any documentation that would help support the necessary um, criteria for the category. And what is the timeline for the submission? When do we find out the result? Yeah, so we'll submit documentation after the design is complete. Um, we anticipate the design will be complete at the end of the year and uh, we will find out the result of our submission about 90 days after we submit. Oh great, that'll be exciting. Well, thank you for being here to share this information. Um, if anyone wants more information on the Biosolids project, you can go to blueriverbiosolids.com. Thank you. Thank you.